Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Divine's Purpose. How are you? I am coming on to do a quick energy read for Divine Feminines. Um, Divine Feminines, I hope you are all well. Um, and Divine Masculines, if you're cross-watching, I hope you are well as well. Um, I'm coming on because we are in this energy of tables are turning, things are really moving in regards to the collective. Um, what is coming out to crown your reading today, Divine Feminines, is temperance. This is understanding that time, balance, and patience has arrived. A lot of Divine Feminines are really stepping into their physical bodies, um, really going with the flow in regards to grounding yourself. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, it's Divine's Purpose. Um, all the information is in the description box below. Um, but I did a quick energy read for us today, and it was a lot about, you know, divine feminines really coming into this grounding energy, like I was saying, that they're really enjoying your life, divine feminines. And divine masculines are coming into a place of understanding and learning and um, the higher ascension. So I'm going to come in to really see what energy you're in, divine feminines, as of now. Um, and yeah, I'm actually on a bed in Bali because I'm in Bali and it's been amazing. I just got here last night and I've already had an amazing day here. Um, I might do a blog about it. If you guys are interested in it, please let me know. Um, and I, I can do like, not a blog, but a blog actually. And uh, post my journey here because I was called to come here by spirit so I'm just being obedient and following and seeing what's happening okay so on the bottom of the deck divine feminines we have the ten of cups this is happy family happy home happy emotions um, now let's look at these cards a little bit more in this energy we have the seven of Pentacles the Empress the tower and the four of cups and to clarify that we have three of swords the three of Pentacles um, the Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So right away, I'm stepping into a lot of Empress energy, which is really beautiful. That's with the Three of Pentacles, the student teacher aspect, really recognizing your journey, recognizing who you are. But again, it's coming into the physical more. Um, divine Feminines, Divine Counterparts. Um, I'm tapping into our collective divine feminines as you know our divine masculines are our grounder they've always grounded us no matter what your situation is it's really understanding the motion of um completion and the yin yang energy and divine feminines have been working so hard the past i don't know let's put a timeline on it year to a year and a half that it's time for you guys to really enjoy your life, Divine Feminines, okay? It's time for you to step into your physical body, your mission work, and even soul connections if you're called to it. Um, and Divine Masculines are really now the ones who are in this 5D energy, this 5, 4D hermit energy. So it's really beautiful. The Empress is here because we understand who we are as Divine Feminines and we understand the journey um, and there's recognition here. So right away, Divine Feminines, I'm getting someone who is in their own energy. They're really stepping into independence and understanding that the journey that came through heartache and pain, betrayal. So to those of you who have understand this journey, journey of self, no matter what situation you're in, we know that it was all about time and patience and balance with the temperance crowning your reading. Um, the tower with the four pentacles here that I'm picking up very strongly with the world Spirit told me to put the world right underneath this. And it's really understanding that things have to come to an end with the physical. A lot of karmic energy had to come to an end because it was a cycle that had to come to a close. And a lot of us divine feminines stepped into the motion of being unfulfilled emotionally um, until we reached our high priestess energy, healing the shadows and also understanding our light. And the three of wands really is about watching the ships coming in from this energy. So right away, what I'm picking up on here is divine feminines who have been in a journey of self-mastery, self-healing, self-love. Um, we also have the six of pentacles here that I forgot to say with the sun. So this is understanding again, um, 
your happiness. Um, the sun right away is a masculine energy and it's crowning the empress. So it's that yin and yang energy with the six of pentacles really understanding the balance here between the work. So a lot of you are really focused on your physical life as of now, like I did mention, which is really beautiful. Um, but what I want to do is, because the journey is really about the self, I want to see what this energy has brought you in regards to your shadow work as the High Priestess has been shown here. So let's get into this and let's see what energy we are healing or what we're tapping into here for shadow work tonight. I'm shuffling, guys, in my hand. <laughs> Now that I'm traveling spaces and stuff, especially in Bali, um, my setup will always be different, but the energy is coming in strong, 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 which is really beautiful. We have rigid energies, we have invisible, and we have fragmented. Okay, so right away I'm tapping into Divine Feminine who has built up a wall from this energy. Um, maybe some of you are really stepping into walking away at yeah, the bottom of the deck, letting go. Wow. Thank you, Spirit, for confirming. That's number 22. A lot of Divine Feminines have walked away from this journey. Twin Flame, counter, um, sorry, Divine Counterpart, Soulmate, please use whatever label resonates with you because it's somewhat of an invisible journey. You felt very invisible from your Divine Counterpart or... Your divine counterpart was invisible to you. Take it as it resonates. This energy of fragmented souls are here. Um, a lot of you were stuck in a moment of time that I'm picking up here that has made you feel invisible, like I mentioned, and brought you some rigid energy, mental blocks. But the letting go card really shows the transformation of oneself. So right away what I'm picking up here is somewhat of a past energy. Um, and to those of you who are really walking away from this journey and really focusing back on physical things, um, please understand that it will be difficult because you can never really walk away from this journey. We have hope. We have obedience. One more, please. And then we have individual reality. Yeah. You can't really step away from the journey completely because it's really about self. You know, you have the hope. You have you understand the wish fulfillment of this journey. You know, the moon cycles are very prevalent, especially when we're stepping into goddess energies, divine feminine. So please understand that. Some of you are real really still hoping for this happy family. Um so maybe you're stepping forward to finding it. Maybe you're stepping forward into sending your desires for it. This obedience card that has been here as well is really understanding that, you know, the truth with the swords, the clarity, but also the time. Again, you know that this is a divine timing situation. So focusing on self, the bird is the message. Um, and really moving forward to your higher self. I really want to um, see what this letting go is just to confirm it because it does have butterfly yeah we have ace of swords here so this is communication and truth truth towards what i'm going to find out right now the devil okay so this is understanding the lower frequency energy okay this is a lot of truths that are coming in from your own self that has to do with ego-based fear um insecurities there is a lot coming in you guys so divine feminines you know the roles have really switched. The Divine Masculines, I feel like, is being a little bit more in that higher energy, higher higher vibe. And Divine Feminines, you're going into more of lack mentality. Um, and I know this is just energy, so take it as it resonates. If this reading is not for you, then just dismiss it, and hopefully the next one will, because this is a collective reading. But these Divine Feminines are definitely stepping into something in the lower toxic energy through some truth that has come in from letting go. Um, we have the Six of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. So a lot of you are really focused on your own independence um, and having victory in that motion, um, which is beautiful and moving forward to wherever your happiness lies because we have that sun. So um, let's see here what this is about here we go we have physical energy red angel so maybe a lot of you are feeling very se sexual sensual and maybe that's why the devil has come um physical energy maybe you're lacking physical energy you're craving physical energy um 
And there's something here that has to do with being fragmented. Let me see. Blue Angel, you are safe. Yeah, like you are not feeling probably as safe as you were in the past. There's something here that I'm picking up on with Divine Feminines that are going into fear. That's what I'm really feeling more than anything else. Some of Divine Feminines have stepped into this motion of fear or lack. Um, and what I'm picking up from Spirit is that you really have to tap into your physical body. Tap into what you really desire physically. Again, we are stepping into the motion of being more grounded at this time. Oneness. Platinum Angel. Yeah, a lot of Divine Feminines have ascended so much that they really forget how it is to be human. Divine Feminines, the, re the reason why this temperance energy is crowning your reading for whoever this resonates because you have to balance your energy for whoever this is for um you're really focusing on yourself which is beautiful but then i feel like you're also counter interacting with fear energy that's taking you away in this mental energy of maybe thinking you're not good enough having abandonment issues rejection these Divine Feminine that I'm tapping into really have to do a little bit more shadow work, and that is fine. And that's what I have to offer for my six-week program. Um, if you are interested, please just contact me in the description box below. However, this is understanding that you still have a lot more healing to do, um, because there is stuff up here that has to do with more of the fear. Um, let's see what this is about. Let me get my um, Keepers of the Light. Okay, we have open communication. Okay, some of you are in this motion of trying to get something off your chest. Get a weight off your chest, speak up with love and be heard. So some of you are um, maybe step back a little bit, um, has put a pause on this, um, becoming back into physical versus spiritual because there's been something that you haven't spoken of um, and you really need to step into it, especially being in this understanding of sacred self, sacred vision. Here are the twins. Um, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So this is really beautiful. I'm grateful that this came out because the thing is a lot of you are on this journey that don't resonate with the twin flame journey anymore. And it's because the twin flame journey is really about self and healing. Oh, I'm so happy. Master Jesus came out. Forgiveness and forgiveness. So this is what's happening. In this energy forever who this is for there is divine feminines out here that have stepped back into a rigid fragmented energy because there is lack of forgiveness and because of the lack of forgiveness of self and to the ones that you need to forgive in letting go in this transformation you have stepped back into fear-based thoughts fear-based programs of you not being good enough this is a lot of insecurities that are coming right now um, Master Jesus, Christ Consciousness, this is this energy that's here. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So if there's also fathers that you need right now that have, excuse me, let me re rewind. If you having issues with your father, your actual father, please understand that there is communication that needs to be spoken towards one another to allow yourself to grow more. Um, because you're feeling stuck at this time. Okay, four other cards came out, and I will tell you once I want to get this message out first because it's really turned into a big clutter. But this is understanding that the twin flame journey that is put upon us is always about this romantic love story or um, your divine counterparts and what they're doing. Please understand if you are a twin flame soul, Divine counterpart, this is all about self. And if you don't understand that and you haven't mastered yourself in such a way that you're stepping into your own healing, um, accepting your own gifts, understanding the journey in that way, if you've been on this journey for a year to two years, then something is wrong with your healing. I'm just going to keep it straightforward because there's some stuck energy here that I'm getting very strongly. Um, so, and, and again, that's fine. There's no judgment. This is just the message that's coming out. Um, and it has to do with a lot with forgiveness and understanding your journey as a sacred feminine. And then obviously in regards to open communication, um, a lot of divine feminines are lacking faith at this time and care of compassion of self. That's what I'm getting as well. 
um, and it's due to the soul expansion, soul expansion, your consciousness is expanding, you understand the connections between all things. So like I said, throughout the soul expansion, it's brought into a place of being rigid. Um, so you're, you're really stepping into your ego-based energies, divine feminines, because this is really about having inner strength, move back to wholeness, recognize that you have the power, Bridget. Bridget's really about healing that fire energy, you know, a lot of you divine feminines have been feeling really lost here. Um, and that's why the temperance is here to crown your reading. I'm picking all this up because I'm a little bit more um, curious of what this healing is about as I am a shadow worker. And I believe that we all have shadows on a day-to-day -day basis that pops up. So let's see. What is these shadows that have come out here? Here we go. Ace of Wands, those are too many cards. Ace of Wands, so we're dealing with fiery energy, truth, passion, brand new beginnings. Eight, <coughs> excuse me, Eight of Swords, here's the message again. And here is the bow and arrow, that focused intention. Um, yeah, some of you really have to talk, especially with my throat acting up. Six of Swords, here's the mental space going into calmer waters. Last card, Knight of Cups, really coming into the emotional space. So some of you are really trapped in your inner child. That's what I'm getting very strongly right away. Um, the fears that are coming up is from inner child wounding that has not been healed yet. The chariot has come out again. Movement forward. The high priestess again. <laughs> um, the six of cups. Okay, here it is. Here is the divine counterpart card. And the page of wands. That player energy okay with the knight of cups and then on the bottom of the deck i just want to show you it's the eight of wands that message there is movement forward or you need to take movements forward divine feminine some of you are stuck and there is it's time for you to get unstuck this is understanding again with the high priestess the shadow and light that is within you within this journey um there is a message coming through so please understand dream time right now is very important to you um but there are a lot of focused attentions that have to be given and received. The Six of Cups with the Six of Swords. Very interesting energy. I'm feeling that both you and your divine counterpart are both moving into calm waters um, with whatever that is bringing you. And then we have the Knight of Cups with the Page of Wands. That player energy mixed in with... Um, emotions and something coming in okay so maybe some of you divine feminines need to really step up and talk to your divine counterpart um, if you haven't already now you really should follow spirits guide to this and i would ask for you to pray and ask for your ancestry and your angelic team to assist you on this and the reason why i'm saying that is because there's a message that has to come through from your own mouth is when I'm picking up. I'm going to step into my goddess oracle to see and ask for a little bit more assistance here to whoever this resonates for because it's definitely a stuck energy. We have sirens, temptations. Okay, again, here's that physical compassion again. One more. And then plenty. The Moya. Yeah, so... Divine Feminines, whoever this resonates for, you're really getting stuck into a place of temptations once again. You have fallen into a lustful, fearful place. Please understand the compassion that needs to be held here with yourself in regards to your shadow work. This is for Divine Feminines who have stepped back into fear, lust, codependency, whatever that is, um, it, because you haven't truly healed your inner child and you truly haven't let go of something in your past or you have let go your transformation has brought you back to back a couple steps that's okay because this is the chaos that's meant to happen right now so spirit can really cleanse what needs to be cleansed out we do fall back sometimes you guys it's okay to fall back it's okay to fail it's okay to be scared and say i'm scared we are human and Everything's meant to happen as it's happening. For this collective group, I'm definitely tapping into communication, like I said, first and foremost. But 
There is a lot more healing that needs to be done here. And it's beautiful and it's coming out beautifully because you are like Goddess Hecate, illumination. You know, you're meant to be the lighthouse. You're meant to shine the light. And sometimes you have to be your own lighthouse and shine your own light on self. And for these divine feminines that I'm tapping into, this is the time that you need to put this love and compassion and even communicate to self what you truly desire with the chariot and the high priestess here. It's really time for you to come forward as the high priestess, as the empress, as the goddess that you are, um, and shine the light to self and really understand that this journey has brought you to a place that you probably never thought you would be, to be honest with you, which is really beautiful. I'm going to get one more message. Two wants to come out. Divine order and transcendence. Yeah, um, this is divine order. I just want to confirm that because I feel like we give ourselves a hard time as divine feminines when you step back or there's been, you know, a little slip in the ascension or whatever or however you want to take it. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. There I go again. Spirit just confirming what I just said. Everything's meant to happen for a reason. You know, I feel like you're probably in this energy again, Divine Feminine, so you can really clear out what needs to be cleared. And let me tell you that Spirit has your back for sure. Um, transcendence, rise up on your inner floor. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So it's already been called in. Things are coming in to really clean it up. Now, if you do need to put more action into self-divine feminines um, and really step into your shadows, please let me know. Um, it's the gift that I am blessed to do with my one-on-one -on -one courses. But it's also understanding that once you start getting into ascension and you're really rising up, you get stuck in a place that has to do with one foot being in the old and one foot being in the new. And because you're in this current energy that I believe that you are in, you really need an extra pair of hands to bring that next foot over to the right side. Um, and I'm saying it in that motion because that's how I'm led to. But the right side to self, the right side to your higher self. And that's what I mean to you. Um, to be Hecate, to be the lighthouse of your own goddess temple. Um, and if you are a twinner and you have just jumped on to this journey and you're watching so many tarot readers oracle cards that keep talking about your divine counterpart please understand that yeah your divine counterpart is the mirror image of you if you are true twins therefore you will be reflecting one another however your attention should not be on them it has to be on self because if you keep putting your focus on them you keep falling back into this cycle that I feel like this is what this is of fear, rejection, abandonment, codependency, so on and so forth. Therefore, the attachment that you have towards them needs to be... And I'm not saying you can cut the cord in regards to the spiritual um, aspect because I really don't believe that can happen but you can shift in such a way that you just keep focusing on you and everything that you're getting messages or if you're even releasing messages to them, it gives you the opportunity to put the focus back on self. Because this energy here is definitely someone who needs to balance their energies with higher and lower. And the only way to do that is to heal and to heal your shadows with the high priestess coming out twice. It's just a very clear message here. Um, so to those of you who this resonates with, please put a lot of time and effort and love and compassion to self because it's okay to be where you are right now because there is a special lesson that is unfolding and this is divine order. So please believe that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. And yeah, if you do want your own reading, please let me know. I will be updating everyone shortly. Um, and please like and comment and subscribe if you're interested. And if you guys do want a video blog of those who want to know Bali, meditate in Bali, or just 
know there's something special here spiritually, please comment below and I will see if I can put a video out for you guys while I'm here. So much love and blessings. I'll talk to you soon.